Hello happy campers! I have a audition vlog update for you. On the 10th of January I did my audition for Central. That was for the MA acting course. Let's talk about the format of the day. So what you can expect is a bit of a wait with Central. Um, we were told to get there at half nine and obviously good to be early so I got there for nine o'clock and we did a warm-up uh, about half nine which is good you know good to get the body moving get the voice working a little bit it wasn't the most comprehensive of warm-ups but it was something and then we were put into a holding room and all given audition times now if you are not someone who likes waiting around then all I can say is be prepared because bearing in mind that we were there at about nine some people didn't get to do their audition till half twelve one. So yeah, if you are one whose nerves sort of build and build and build, then you need to take a book, you need to take some music, you need to go for a walk or something. Just get yourself in whatever zone you need to get into, but be prepared to wait. For me, I was actually quite lucky. There was a girl who I did my East 15 audition with in that audition so um, there was someone there you know a friendly face that we could sort of talk to each other and I mean everyone was friendly but it was nice having someone that you recognize to talk to yeah we all sort of waited around uh, had a bit of a chat and then I got called in for my audition um, they ask you what you're gonna do and then sort of ask you what order you want to do it in and that's completely up to you and then let you get on with it essentially. I did my classical piece and then I did my contemporary piece and after that we had a brief chat about my classical um, and I was asked to do it differently so I was redirected. Now a lot of schools do this, I actually kind of like it when they redirect you because some schools just do it anyway but I feel it shows that they must have seen something from you or they want to try and get something more from you. They asked me to uh, do my monologue in a slightly different way to think of some different emotions. Um, I felt I tried to do this to do what they wanted but I think that maybe either I didn't completely understand or I couldn't completely connect with the emotions that they thought that my character had and I was asked to do it and then stopped, asked to do it again and then stopped and then asked to do it again so that's three times and when I came out of the audition I kind of had that feeling of I don't think I got what they wanted to see um, which is <sighs> tough but you know I mean you never know but I, I didn't feel confident that I'd sort of shown them what they were asking me to show them. Within the audition I did get some good feedback. I was told that I can do sad very well. Uh, whether that's good or backhanded I don't know but yay sad. Um, I was also told that I had a bit of a Shakespeare voice which is good and bad again because you don't want to ham on a Shakespeare voice, but at the same time, I've been working so hard to get my voice less up here, as it always is, and more grounded and um, from the stomach. Uh, so it's good that something has been coming out. Oh, I was also told that it was clear that I had a, a good understanding of the text and of the emotions of my character and that it wasn't a whitewash of one particular emotion so again that's really good feedback because I've worked on this for quite a while and I've really studied and researched and put a lot of time and effort into it um, so yeah so I came out on my audition I didn't feel like I did out of Lambda Lambda I was not I, I just didn't feel good at all I didn't feel like I did when I came out of East 15 because there, well, as you've seen, I was buzzing off the walls. I was a fairly happy medium. I felt like I'd done all I could do, but I didn't think that I'd done all that they wanted to see. Fast forward to today at whatever time it is, glass of wine in hand, and I got a rejection, which is sad, but... I can't say I'm like 
100% surprised. Um, I thought potentially I could get a recall because I, I, I do feel I have more to show and I feel that I feel like I, I have got something and that I do deserve to go to drama school and I suppose that that's not completely unsupported because I have got into drama school but I guess what they're looking for is not what I showed and rejection is shit like let's face it rejection is shit but I want to be an actor so you've just got to get on with it I'm never going to get every single role that I want I'm never going to get every single drama school that I want I'm never even going to get an every single job that I want and a bit of rejection although it stings is good for the thick skin that we need to develop as actors um, so what I'm doing from now is obviously going to have just a few more of these <laughs> and um, then get back on to rehearsing for my next audition which is another central one on the 10th of February and um, that is MA acting for screen so completely different animal really um, I did this audition last year and I think I felt it went better I didn't get in but I felt the actual audition did go better so um, what I will do is I will update you on the 10th of Feb with how that goes and until then I will keep practicing and practicing and practicing. Um, yeah, if you have any questions on the central audition day or process or anything like that then let me know um, and if you're going for any of these auditions then break a leg. Cheers! <laughs>